Mr. Speaker, notwithstanding the progress that we have made in the areas of sanitation and pollution, there is still a lot more to be done. Specifically, we need to, one, improve urban air quality and combat air pollution. Two, we should support the re-engineering of landfill sites at Pone and Uti. Three, support fumigation of public spaces, schools, health centers, and markets, including lorry parks. Revamp, reconstruct poorly managed landfill facilities. Five, construct more sustainable state-of-the-art waste treatment plants, both solid and liquid in selected locations across the country. Six, construct waste recycling and compost plants across the country. Seven, construct more sanitation facilities to accelerate the elimination of open defecation. Eight, construct final treatment and disposal sites for solid and liquid waste. Nine, provide dedicated support for the annual maintenance and management of major landfill sites and other waste treatment plants and facilities across the country. 10. Construct medical waste treatment facilities to prevent the generation of infectious diseases, especially under the coronavirus treatment program. Mr. Speaker, these are all very critical investments that have to be made for the benefit and dignity of all Ghanaians. These will ensure sustainable sanitation management, improve the quality of life, and reduce the number of deaths and diseases from poor sanitation. To provide the requisite resources to address these challenges and fund these activities, government is proposing a sanitation and pollution levy, SPL, of 10 pesos, 10 pesos on the price per liter of petrol or diesel under the Energy Sector Levies Act, ESLA. Energy Sector Recovery Levy, Delta Fund. Mr. Speaker, it will be recalled, yes, boiler tax, to clean up our environment so that you are not afflicted by diseases.